right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Monday just finished for everyone, and uh, I'm getting ready to eat right now in a little bit. Ramadan's last week is here. Uh, happy Mother's Day to everyone. I hope everyone had a nice Mother's Day weekend, and I hope everyone kind of sort of enjoyed the whole Elon Musk uh, SNL skit. Very interesting night that was. Uh, I had sold Doggy last when it was uh, around 70 something, 0 0.70, blah, 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 some, something like that, so 70 cents. It hit a grand of about 74 cents, and then after that, it basically plummeted on the night of. So Dogecoin right now is sitting at 44 cents, and it's not doing all that well. In fact, no one is. So on his SNL skit, the first person to actually even mentioned Doggy Coin was his mom, which was super cute, and then after that, he... Uh, his choice of words caused uh, a lot of tantrum everywhere, so he called Doggy Coin a hustle, and uh, that led to Doggy Coin basically just plummeting over over that night, over that entire night. It just went straight down. The next morning, it went up a little bit again, and then today it's down to forty four cents. Now it seems that all the whales must have started selling, and you know, taking their millions. Uh, you know, a lot of people became millionaires this time around with the whole Doggy Coin thing, and. You know just checked out and now they can go ahead and reinvest their money wherever they want ethereum classic was beautiful over that entire same whole week leading up to the snl uh play right so all of last week you can see right here they actually came all the way up to almost 200 so 180 and then it came back down right today bitcoin has fallen so it dragged everyone else down with it as you can see uh pretty much the same trend for uh, ethereum classic bitcoin ethereum Right, Ethereum did beautiful things too, and today it broke 4,000, so you can see, and then it plummeted pretty damn hard, all the way down to under 4,000, and now it's kind of coming back up, right, so it's, it's sitting at the 4,000 range. Um, my next goal is most likely to probably just grab um, more Litecoin, if anything, so Litecoin itself is at uh, 363 right now, right, so it's going to be breaking, breaking the 1,000, in my opinion, by the end of this uh, year. So that's going to be somewhere I might be investing in terms of crypto as far as crypto is involved. Other than that, as we also spoke earlier about MindMed, so MindMed is continuing to do the same thing, which is kind of just going downwards, which is great for us, us that have not invested into it yet. All right. So today, um, as you know, it just got listed not too long ago. So you can see basically a few weeks. It was listed on April 27th. So you know, it's about to make two weeks. And ever since it got listed, it started at 514. It's just been falling because there's not much going on for them right now for people to invest into. So no one's really investing into it right now. But the the branch of medicine that Mind Medicine is playing around with using uh, psychedelics and pain ma management, it's gonna skyrocket. Um, it's very easy. You could just go ahead and do all your research on it in, in, in a matter of minutes where you would find all these YouTube videos of Kevin O'Leary and the uh, main players of uh, mind medicine as a company talking about their future goals and how mind medicine is set to skyrocket set to succeed um i'm waiting for this to hit maybe around the uh 250 mark right depending on how quickly it continues to plummet i'm going to be doing that uh keep keeping an eye on it and then grabbing as much of it as i can because they have around 16 plus different clinical trials that are going on right now. And if any one of them even has a slight success where they are maybe, you know, on, on their own publication talking about either getting FDA approval or reaching the next level of clinical trials, they're going to get massive investments. And this is not going to be sitting at this penny stock price for too long. It's not going to be happening. It's very easy, as I've shown you guys before, to look up what's happening so you can see you know, on Finviz, you can see some things about what they're doing, targeting treatment of pain with psychedelics. You look it up, you try to find more about them, you find out all about their research, how they're trying to make more happen. You can also look up just the company itself directly. So if you look up Mind Med just itself, you know, then you can find out about their uh, progress right here as well. You know, what is happening for them is something that you would have to kind of follow suit. So one of the other things I do recommend is kind of, kind of following the company over Twitter if you're on Twitter. In today's time, it's become a pretty much essential thing to have to be on Twitter. So definitely make sure you do that. As I say this, though, my own Twitter account is actually kind of locked. So I got to work on that. I'm, that's my actual thing. After eating tonight, I'm going to go ahead and unlock my um, Twitter account, get that popping because I also want to 
I also want to make a Twitter account for this channel so that I can use that Twitter to kind of you know stay in touch with people and let them know what's happening and what, what I'm watching and keep you guys posted on any alerts I might want to send out to you all as this channel progresses right so that's the goal as as we get bigger but generally speaking there's a lot happening now to see the research they're doing right if you go on their website so let's let's maximize this um, if we go on their website our medicines and then we have you know on the on the left they're listing out all their investments so now a lot of people are invested into mind med off of nasdaq too and that's what they're showing over here Right, but now it recently, as we saw, just got listed on on Nasdaq, so people are investing into it there as well, and uh, it's 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 not exactly going up because they haven't really done anything yet. So we want it to keep going down. Now, one of the see, so right here they have the investors tab, right, and press releases are what we care about. So every clinical trial company has press releases. You make progress on your clinical trial, you make a press release about it, telling the world about what you're learning so that other hospitals and others who might be interested in your research can come up to you and maybe either partner with you, invest into you, whatever it might be. So if you look at their press releases, you know, you, you would find all the things they're talking about lately. The main thing has been the fact that they're on NASDAQ now, right? Targeting pain with psychedelics, all their other things they've been working on, stuff like that. Other than that, they have the downloads tab right here where they basically tell you your investor deck and anything else you might want to know as an investor. Very much worth looking at. Very much worth looking at. So if we look at the investor deck right now, let me make myself a little smaller so we could fit the screen. All right. So <clears throat> this thing is broken up into introduction first of who is everyone that's involved, right? Who the doctors are, who the master's people are, the PhD, the researchers, all that. Their actual market asset right so how they're doing in terms of money and clearly you can see big big numbers here right now pain and pain management as a medical practice is already huge numbers to begin with uh, if you are a doctor that matched into psychiatry and you opened up a pain management clinic you're golden golden the, the psychiatry doctor i worked under had three different cars that he would come in and one of them at that time was the tesla which was heavily overpriced this was like three years ago Heavily overpriced. It's still overpriced, but at that time it was even worse. And uh, a Porsche and one other car that I don't remember right now. But this guy was loaded. You know, the things are going very well in terms of their research progress, which you can imagine. You know, why would you want to put your company on Nasdaq if you're sh if you're shit? You're, you're not really doing anything. But they are actually finding great treatment progress they're doing a really good job and you can read all about their progress here especially if you're a medical student as many of my med student channels uh people are coming here they're, they're definitely going to be interested in this but this isn't designed just for med students anyone can read this and see what's happening and learn more about what is being done you know so that's one thing they offer the other thing is your quarterly corporate updates so that's another good thing to be looking at so if we look at the quarterly corporate update they're basically here sharing all the things they're working on and how much money it's bringing in as it succeeds right so psychedelic inspired medicine has already been approved by Johnson & Johnson and they're trying to work on something that might be better right so this is kind of what's happening with them as soon as they hit something that succeeds that brings in any uh, potential of success they will skyrocket skyrocket this will become uh, over hundreds and hundreds of dollars you know and then at that point you want to be there for the ride of a good 10,000% gain. All right. So we're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to keep watching this until the end of time, really. And, uh, and uh, you know, whenever I invest into it, you will all know. I'll tell you when I bought it and I'll show it to you guys how much I grabbed and whatnot. And then we'll see from there. So let's, let's see what happens. Thanks a lot for joining.